Reg has been selling his homemade wreaths outside his house for the last two decades. After popping to the market though, he came back to find they'd been stolen. And I come back and uh, I looked and thought, where are my wreaths? And they're all gone. How did you feel when you realised what they'd done and that someone had stolen from you? How did it feel? It's easy to see how devastated he was. But then a local posted what had happened on social media and it went viral. Suddenly, demand for his wreaths shot through the roof. Maybe two wreaths off you. I think you can only spare one. This man's driven 12 miles today to get one. I just wanted to let him know that there are all horrible people out there, some nice people out there that care about him, you know, so. And Reg is doing quite a trade. And how's business doing now? And that now, now it's pretty booming. <laughs> I was so glad. I was so glad. Yeah. And you've had a lot of nice people coming to see That's you. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they aren't all bad people, are they? They yeah. certainly aren't. And what he doesn't know is that Steph here has organised a Just Giving fundraising page for him, and people from all around the world are donating. We've actually managed to raise £1,200. <laughs> More tears from Reg, but this time happy ones. And she's going to organise for that to go straight into his bank. He's going to have a better Christmas than he could have imagined, especially now he's got an assistant. Look, mine's a bit wonky. You're not going to give me a job at this rate, are you? No. Perhaps in the 12 months. <laughs> Ruth Lip Trot, 5 News.